Yes, Tamer Williams is ranked 59th in the World Athletics Gymnastics Championship. For 14 years, Tamer trained diligently, hoping that her dreams of competing in the Olympics would someday be realized. In this installment of I'm Every Woman, Tama tells us of her journey from the time she started to train at the tender age of six to life since she just missed out on the opportunity to represent this country at the Rio Olympics. Dion Batiste has more. Tema was just six years old when she started to train as a gymnast. Afraid that she would injure herself while mimicking her older sister, who was already enrolled at the Tots and Tumblers gym, Tema says her mother made the decision to have her youngest child be trained as well. Tema loved it, and it was not long before she knew that she wanted to pursue gymnastics professionally. Um, but I was shown my Olympic dream in 2004 when I watched the Olympics with Carly Paxson, that was in Athens, I believe, and I told my mommy I want to go to the Olympics. She trained at the gym for 12 years and considers all who work and train there to be members of her extended family. Um, they would just say that I was really wild. I, I, I was very adventurous. Any skill that they would show me, I would say I could do it. I would train with the bigger girls sometimes, and some of these skills I would see them do, and I would tell my coach I could do it. And I would go up there and I would do it, so. They always knew that I was very energetic, willing and adventurous. Commenting on the drama surrounding her and Marissa Dick leading up to the Olympics, Tamer says she felt betrayed by the Gymnastics Federation. Along the way they always showed signs of bias, but you would believe that people who would be in that position of power would make the right decisions and make decisions as justly as possible. But personally I just felt very hurt and betrayed. Not one to hold on to grudges, Tamer says she has managed to let it go. This was made easier by her family and the citizens who mobilized in a show of support. And I felt very honored that everybody came up in solidarity to support my cause because they didn't have to, they chose to. So. Tamer believes everything happens for a reason and what is meant for her will eventually be hers. Now that the dust has settled on the 2016 Olympics, many often ask, what is she doing now? Well, the fashion-loving athlete has a full plate. She's an artist, she's a trainer at the Tots and Tumblers gym where she once trained, and she recently started a stretch class with her sister. I realize that in a lot of sports that people get injured because they don't stretch, they don't take stretching seriously. You can pull muscles, you need to be able to be warm and stretch before you do any activity, and I believe that it's not taken as seriously as it should be. Tema says her journey, though rife with challenges, has opened her eyes and encouraged a maturity that would not have happened otherwise. The highs and lows, successes and failures, the good, bad and indifferent have all contributed to the woman she is today. To those facing seemingly insurmountable odds, Tema says the most difficult times usually come just before success. Keep going. Dion Batiste, C News.